Hey everyone, this week we've got a new Pi servo hat capable of controlling a number of servos, including those on a pan tilt mount meant for holding your cameras. This includes the Raspberry Pi camera module V2, which is a great little 8 megapixel camera capable of recording up to 1080p video. It's also tiny, has four mounting holes, and plugs directly into your Raspberry Pi. Now, I know what you're thinking. The Pi camera module has been out for a while, so why are you showing us this? Well, that's because I want you to take your automated photography to the next level, and we can help. This is a pan tilt camera mount from Dagu that can hold the Pi camera module with a bit of double-sided sticky tape. It's controlled by a couple of very small servo motors. The pulse width modulation output from a Raspberry Pi isn't very good, especially when it comes to controlling servos. So we made a hat to help with that. This is the Pi servo hat, which I've attached to a Pi Zero W. We can control up to 16 servos with it, and it also leaves room for us to plug in the camera module directly to the Pi. Now, I've got a pan tilt camera that I can control through my Pi. This means I can issue commands from a web browser so I can keep an eye on my pets at home or look for intruders. But it also means I can control it programmatically with any language I want to do things like take a photo every few seconds and move the camera slightly to make a panning time-lapse video or watch my plants grow. You can buy these pieces individually, or we've gone ahead and made a full pan tilt servo and camera kit so you can start snooping on your empty house right away. Tag at SparkFun on Twitter or Instagram if you make something fun or if you want to show us your Raspberry Pi based video project. The Pi camera module has been a modulation output from most Pi, from all Pis, or we've gone pulse width modulate. Mm. Spit, great. Or we've gone ahead, gone, gone ahead, it up for you with a pan tilt. Doesn't even why what. I